Batman. Welcome to Digital Charcuterie. Like, subscribe, do it all. We're talking the Batman, the DCU, and Joker fully adult. So now, Joker fully adult, you can see my review of it here, here, and another one here. Uh, I did two reviews on the movie, and I've done a couple other videos about it as well. I have my opinions. I'm not very opinionated on it, though, but I have opinions. Does that make sense? It does not. Let's get right into the Batman. Now, apparently, according to this Forbes article I'm going to talk about in just a second, it looks like Warner Brothers is uh, getting a little bit of cold feet when it comes to Batman territory. They don't think the Batman name is a surefire hit anymore. This is according to Forbes. With the with the bombing of Joker Felia, not only financially, not only with critics, but with audiences as well. All across the board, Joker Felia, nobody seems to like it. Again, my review right there. They're thinking about combining the DC. Well, this is what Forbes is alleging, that they want to combine the DCU with with the Reeves vs. Batman. That would mean bringing in Robert Pattinson's Batman into the DCU. Reports of this have circulated for about a week or so now. You heard about hints, but now with the Joker coming out, uh, full is going full steam ahead. Warner Bros. wants Pattinson as Batman through the DCU. This actually coincides with something that Zaslav said uh, four years ago, maybe five years ago when he first came in, however long that was, four, three years ago, two years ago, whenever that was, he said he doesn't want seven Batman running around the screens. And now, worst case scenario, I guess you'd get the one, but really with James Gunn's Brave and the Bold, you're looking at two Batman. I can't see Pattinson fathering Damian Wayne at this point, but who knows what's going to happen there. Maybe they uh, they course correct what they're doing with Batman, but I can't see Gunn backing away from his plans. If he has set plans and they're already in motion with Creature Commandos, Superman, Supergirl is going in. There's so much more that they're ramping up. They got the Lantern show going. There's so much more going on. I can't see him course correcting Batman already. I can see him taking his time getting to Batman. We all know and love Batman, but we have the Reeves verse. You want to separate those two. So bringing Pattinson in, I think that is good for audience recognition. They're not going to be too confused with what. why am I watching this Batman when that Batman over there is happening. But also the tone and the mood that Reeves is setting. I would think, and I obviously haven't seen any of James Gunn's stuff because we don't have any yet. But I would think that the tone is vastly different. And I know he said there's going to be different genres and different tones. But that's a very serious, very down-to-earth, very nitty-gritty Batman. It would be cool to see Pattinson and Corn Sweat do their thing together. But it might take a lot of imagination to get them to blend together and coincide in one universe. I'm not sure how it is. There is one little tidbit that does carry some weight in this potentially happening. And that is the Dick Grayson animated feature that's coming. The Jason Todd Dick Grayson animated film from Matt Reeves and James Gunn. They are co-producing this event. Obviously, they have a good working relationship from there. This, So that's the one thing that I could see this making this tangible is that they have this working relationship. They like each other. They respect each other's works and their visions. And this looks like a piece that maybe could see both of their worlds in a certain light combining in a way, right? So could they work together? Could their universes blend? This could be the one way that that could manifest and we could start seeing the balls roll in that direction. But at the same time, I still think James Gunn has an idea for Batman and he wants his own Batman to be Batman in Batman Brave and the Bold. But that all remains to be seen. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. I really appreciate it. Give us a like and subscribe. Until next time, maybe the master of your own universe.